Fit and Ten Nation, it is day 59 of the Fit and Ten Challenge. And I don't think I'm centered. Mm, okay, that's about good. Good enough. All right. Um, promo is up. You can get up to 50% off. Well, you you would get 50% off the challenge if you sign up for the Sunday, right? So just letting you know. After this Sunday, the price goes up. So don't come whining to me for the cheaper price. I gave you plenty of warning. Hopefully you're watching these videos. Should have got my email. All right, let's get into myth number six. Somebody asked me the other day, is it true if I work my core um, more, if I work my core more often, I can get it leaner? Is that true? Okay. Do you think, what do you think? Can you get it leaner? Well, this is an interesting question. All right. So, okay. So my short answer on this is no, it's not true, but it kind of is in the sense of if you work a certain area enough, you're going to develop it more. And if it becomes more developed, that is you're building more muscle tissue in that area and assuming the fat, the amount of fat in that area stays the same, which it would unless you you know went you dieted more you did more cardio or something but it, it wouldn't it wouldn't happen from the exercise itself that you're doing on the, on the area so if you built more muscle there by doing so if you work a certain area you build more muscle there the ratio of muscle to fat changes so if you build more muscle and the fat stays the same then it's going to look leaner this is why a lot of people think that spot reduction works and in that essence it kind of does but it doesn't work in the essence that if you work if you work an area you're going to burn fat from that area okay there is no there's no science to back this up, okay? How you burn energy, even though I don't know if this is backed up by science, but you know, from 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 what I understand of physiology, I'm I'm I am, you know, pretty much on record, 100% here saying that your energy that you burn doing whatever you do is systemic. It doesn't just, <laughs> you know, your body's not pulling energy from one little area in your body. It's pulling energy from from all areas, right? So, you know, um, working it a particular, you know, working your arms is not going to burn fat off of your arms. Okay, it, the, the energy production or the energy that's provided for energy production is systemic. It's not localized. Okay. All right, but you know, like I said, if you work the areas more and more and more, if you get more muscle in a certain area, it will it will look leaner. Um, okay, like I said, under the understanding that the fat stays the same, well, if the fat decreases, it's gonna look even more, it's gonna obviously look leaner. But if the fat stay the same and you, you put more muscle on that area, it should look leaner, right? Because that, that ratio changes. All right, it's kind of like your body fat percentage drops if you just put on muscle, right? Because it's a percentage. Okay, uh, somebody else asked me about carnitine. Well, they didn't ask me, they just said they wanna know my thoughts on carnitine. So I'm assuming you mean like acetylcarnitine, L-acetylcarnitine. Um, this is a supplement that's touted to burn more fat and it has been shown through studies to bring more fatty acids into the cell. Um, the mitochondria in the cell can utilize the carnitine for uh, energy production. So there is, there does seem to be um, some evidence of this. The question is, is how much, how much of a difference does it make? Does it make a half percent difference? Does it make a 5% difference? I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if anybody does. Um, I, I do use it when I'm getting ready for a contest, but it, like, again, I think it gives you like this much. Okay. You know, out of all of this stuff, it's the eating and the working out. When we're talking about physical change of the body. It's the eating and the working out. It's the eating right, right, okay? It's the eating right and the intense workouts that are going to change your body. Those are the two things. Supplements, not gonna make, make that much of a difference, okay? Drugs, well, yeah, I'll probably make a pretty big difference, but we're not going there, okay? And, uh, and you don't wanna go there, so. Um, Supplements are just like, you know, the icing on the cake and, and at that it's a very thin layer of icing, okay? Focus on your diet, focus on your training. That's where you're going to get 98% of your results. 
All right. Uh, all right, now message of the day. How are we doing for time? Pretty good, eh? Match of the day. I'm taking my pre-workout. I got a few. I got a, actually, I have, it's just so you know, I have one, two, three, four. I got four supplements in here. But, you know, I'm trying to get, like, every little thing to make me better through these last few years of competition that I'm doing. Anyways, message of the day. There are many things in your life that you believe you need. You believe you need. But, uh, but you really don't. Okay? Now, what am I referring to? Well, perhaps alcohol. That's right. You know, as much as it may pain you to hear me say that, as much as you may truly believe that in order for you to survive, in order for you to not die, in order for you to function optimally, in order for you to go through this life with happiness and joy and and just, you know, feelings of, of, of goodwill, you need alcohol. But the reality is, is you don't. I know you may not believe me. Maybe you need a study to see this. So maybe we should do a study. But the reality is you don't need alcohol. It's true. It's, it's, it's true. I know. I, I realize I'm going against the grain here. I realize a lot of you might be, you know, I'm not, listen, I, I might be upsetting you right now, okay? You may be having a temper tantrum, but I'm just, I'm, I just want to get the truth across, across to you, okay? You, you do not need alcohol. Sorry to say it. It's true. Well, I'm not sorry to say it. I just, listen, I'm here as the, tr uh, I'm, as, I'm here as the bearer of truths. You do not eat alcohol. As much as you believe it, you just don't. You don't, okay? When I was a kid, I, you know, I, I needed cookies every day. Had to have cookies. Okay, you, you probably don't believe this about me, but I used to line up cookies down the couch after school. Just put them down the arm of the couch or the back of the couch and uh, slide my way down the couch eating cookies, watching whatever it was I was watching. And uh, the reality is I didn't need it, right? But at that age, I thought I definitely need these, okay? You don't. You just don't, okay? You don't. So that is my message to you of the day. Alcohol. Alcohol be gone. If you want to change this, if you want to turn into more of this, well, maybe you don't want to turn into that. But if you want to add some muscle, you know, you want to lose some body fat, and I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to feel way better. Trust me. You need to cut out alcohol, okay? Or at least diminish it to minimal amounts, you know, one or two glasses per week. All right? Okay, I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful day. Submit and commit to this challenge. Positive energy, positive vibes. Give some gratitude and for the love of God. Believe in yourself. I am off to work on these guys and these guys, which are my calves. I'll talk to you guys all later. Have a wonderful day. See ya.